welcome friends to Muskrat Links. Today we are out here doing another ball hunting video because you guys love the last one and today we're doing it with a twist. We're gonna see how much money we can make finding lost golf balls. Let's go! The rules today are simple. Every golf ball we find will be graded and given an accurate market value. You'll get to see our total go up as we find more and more cool golf balls, so be sure to click that subscribe button and watch till the end to see our grand total and data analysis after we inventory our haul. This course is absolutely beautiful, so let's get out there and uncover some treasure. All right, you ready, Sarah? I'm ready when you are. Ready, Pops? Hold on. Make up. Again, big thank you to the guys here at Newport Golf Club for letting us come out and film. We're going to be donating a whole bunch of our golf balls back to them to help fill up their driving range. This is such a nice course. It's a hidden gem out here in the middle of New Hampshire. You guys should definitely come out and play it. If you're from the area, I highly recommend it. This is one of my favorite new courses that I only found recently, so I'm really excited to get out here today and see how many balls we can find. So, Dad, what's your prediction for the overall value that we're going to find today? What do you think? 150 bucks, I think we're going to okay. find. Yeah, I think that's decent. I'd be happy getting 150 bucks. I think I'm gonna go a little higher though. I think we're gonna be able to find a whole bunch of golf balls. I'm gonna say 200. I think we break the $200 mark, but it's only one thing to do. Let's strap, go. strap on the chest can, let's get out there, let's find some golf let's balls. Go. Woo. I forgot to mention, we also have a bounty system, just a side bet between dad and I today. So if I find a proven one with a logo, dad owes me 10 bucks. If we find one that just has an imprint on it, like a person's name or something like that, it's five bucks. So we've also got that Pro V1 bounty out here today. Hopefully I can find some of those as well and earn some money back that I lost last week. Feels bad. <laughs> this is a pretty steep bank. Kylo's gonna work the top here. I'm gonna go down deep. You're not gonna see me for a little bit, but hopefully the next time you do see me, I'll have pockets full of golf balls. Oh, I got this, I got this. Ah! I brained myself. And we're fine. Hello, everybody. Let's find some golf balls. All right, I thought I saw a couple right here off the bat. Oh, yeah. Yes. Here we go. Ooh, this is a cool one. It's a pinnacle, but it says Swan Lake on it. Ah, that's a nice one. Golf ball number two right off the bat. We got a Bridgestone. E6. Ooh, Srixon. Check out the logo on this guy. Big old clover there. Heck yeah. Decent, decent. Oh, sitting right here in the open. There we go. Little Callaway HX hot action. Decent ball. Hot. It's hot today. Oh, here we go. Get in there low. Not going to miss this guy. Oof, the bright orange Callaway Super Soft. We're not doing the color challenge this week, but hey, if we were. That would have been a good one. Nice. Oh, look at that. Just sitting right there. It doesn't get much easier than that. Ooh, it's a Kirky boy. A little performance plus for Kirkland of the day. We'll take that. Ooh, oh, yes. Ooh, it's a little Vice Tour. Oh, here lies Appel. Apple? Appel? I don't know. Interesting. Maybe that's the name of the ball. How's it going? Are you guys no, just filming today. Yeah. This one is a hunting for lost golf balls video. We played our round earlier, and now we're hunting for balls. The best one to go to is 15 in the river. 15 in the river? <laughs> no, it's. And number three up on the hill. That's where we were hoping, number three. Yeah, I, I went out there the other couple weeks ago, I got a dozen. Ooh, now we're talking. So if you find any with a purple smiley on them, they're mine. Purple smiley, you got it. Good one. All right, purple smiley face, right? Purple smiley face. I'm on the lookout. <laughs> Have a good round. Thank you. Oh, we will. I've got a oh, few. I have a Titleist. It has a logo on it. I don't know if it's a Pro V1. Oh, look at that one. Look at that Callaway 603. Yeah, this is a super rare one. This is a New super Hampshire one. 603. That's so cool. Wow, that's an amazing golf ball. What kind of ball is this? NXT Tour Ooh. with a logo. Well, guess what? I have a rebuttal for you. I just found this while we are waiting for those two ladies to tee off. It's a Pro V1X with a logo on it. Oh my goodness. There it is. $10 cash in my pocket making up for last week. Okay, let me look at the rest of the ones I found. Yeah, yeah. Noodle, Callaway. That's the NXT. Yep. Wait, what's this one? Oh, clean it off. What's this one? It's muddy. <gasps> it's 
Pro V1, no. and it has a Titleist logo okay, on it. Okay, calm down. <laughs> you get nothing. That 603 Callaway ball is super cool, though. It I'm is keeping that cool. one. That one's going in the collection. All right, I see one really deep in there. This could be max length situation. Can this thing reach? We'll find out. It has mower damage. It's just a crappy precept. Dang it. Could have been a Logo Pro V though, so I'm still picking up things that have been chopped by a mower. Wait, is it money for every Logo Pro V? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a bounty system. Do so I get in on this? Absolutely. If you spot one, it's yours. So if I, even if I get it physically, but if you spot it. Okay. Pro V1 with a logo. Show me it's a Pro V1. Oh, it is. What's All the right. logo? Well done. Uh, yeah, it's a logo. It's printed. That's not just text. No. Count it. So that cancels out, right? Yep. Ten dollars or even. All right. I'm ready to go to hole two and three. All right, we made it to hole number two now. Up across the road, we've got a nice ditch to pick here. Then along the right-hand side, to see if we can get some more going. I need another logo proby. That's what I want. Boy, anything flies in here, it's gonna come flying out. I was out. gonna say, it's all rocks, actually. I've got one. Titleist. Oh, 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 look at that. Looks like I just found a $5 bill. Is that a logo? A logo again? Uh, this one's just text that says for F-O-R-E, Rick. So you got an imprint. It's an imprint one. Lovely. Reset. Odds of the McDonald's milkshakes or mm. ice cream being down? Uh, 58%. <laughs> Odds of me bringing up ice cream on every hole? I'm fine with that. I don't care if that's 100%. All right, let Dad have this dish. We're going someplace else there. I'm always losing Bridgestone E6s. This is like the fifth one I found in one hole. Oh, blueberries. Those are not blueberries. <laughs> For sure. Yep. Distance plus. True feel. Oh, 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 Pro V1. No logo. Dad escapes. Oh, probably a Pro V1. Oh, 2023, but no logo. Again, good value though. We're finding some good Pro V's here. I like it. Oh my gosh, Dad. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. What is this? It's a Nitro Eclipse. <laughs> That's awesome, I have not found one of these before. That is the best illegal golf ball I've ever found. Wow, that's a really cool one. I'm happy with that find, that's big. Sweet. Chrome Soft, there's some value there. Orange tricks on, okay. Making money. Bridgestone, poor BRX. Nitro, one color. Extendo, ooh, tricks on Z Star as well. All right. All right. Had some luck. As did I. I think I have one of these in my bag. Huh. I kid you not. A Solaire? That logo in my golf bag right now. Here's your Vice Ooh. Pro. Vice Pro Plus, okay. Oh, that's a Pro V. It has to be. Yep. It's, oh. it's like double logo. It's double logo. That's, well, it's $20. What does that have? Well, is it a Pro V1? Is that yes, logo and then that is. logo? Yep, it's a Pro V1. But I think they rode over the, the yep. Pro V, right? I can see it there. It's Pro V1. That's 20 bucks. And then a couple more. Is that a wow. Callaway wannabe? Yeah, it is. It's not a real yeah. triple track. And Pinky Tuscadero. Ooh. Nice little Bridgestone. Oh, I see a couple more Probies over there as well. Yeah, a couple more Probies, no logos. That's a little bit older, but... Uh, yeah. They're a fairly good looking laddie. Yep, yep. I All didn't right. find anything. I found some good value. We found the $5 back here, there, yep. but you just found 20, so you're up 15 right now. <laughs> but I found this. I have not found one of these before. Wow, the Halloween version, Eclipse. The Nitro Eclipse. Eclipse Nitro. Halloween edition. Wow, that's, that's fabulous. A really cool one. 
All right, let's put these in the bag. We got some good value here. We're doing great so far. I thought I found a brand that I'd never seen. Yeah, right here. Which one is that? Venture. Oh, Venture. I think that's like an Amazon golf ball. I think oh, that's really? Like an Amazon basic golf ball, hmm. I think. But hey, okay. good one. And then I got the half a ball. Half this a one's value. already been to Muskrat Links and got the guillotine. <laughs> I was gonna to try to go in one layer back there, get on the inside, see if I can find a path through there. Yeah. The cover to Kirkland. Tyler would be proud. Bang! Oh, got some color there. A little Callaway Super Soft, that's a good ball. All right, I have an idea for your next golf ball hunting video. Yeah? Golf ball hunting ASMR. Just no talking. Just rustle, rustle, rustle. Peepers. I'm gonna keep using precept laddies. I must sell these in the pro shop. A lot of work. I hope you're getting some back there, Pop. I've got a few Pro V1s. Beautiful. Everyone thinks they can cut the corner. I'm finding a lot of bridge stones today. Yeah, I just picked up a, a, a yellow precept. Mm. Got a little Chrome Soft XLS triple track here. We'll take that. Good money. Oh, found Tom Brady's Callaway. <laughs> there it is. You got a Patriots Callaway? Well, I think it's T8. It looks like TB to me. So let's just sell that on eBay as Tom Brady's. Oh, absolutely. I think one of these might have had a logo. All three Pro V1s. Ooh. Up 15 right now, 2023, great value. Nothing there. No side bet, 2023, oh, what's that? Is what that is like that? a sticker or something? I can't tell what that is. I don't know if we can call that a logo. Custom made for It's flag? something though. American flag variant, I'll have to look that one up. Hmm. But that's really cool. Very cool. Mosquito's not cool. Yeah, I gotta double up, uh, double down. Yeah, time to apply more. <laughs> ah, oh. To the cart. There's the nice one. Not counting right anything. How many do you think we have? So far, maybe like 60. Whew. So far, so good. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. I absolutely love doing these. It is super hot and super buggy out here today, but I'm still having so much fun. Hopefully we're getting some good value out of this as well. Let's keep it rolling. Give me that. That's not how you use bug spray. Sure it is. Apply liberally. You know you want some. I do, hand over. 90 degrees, 98% humidity, 1000% bug density, 50% poison ivy, saturation, and uh, a couple of pinnacles to show for it. <laughs> oh, you'll love to see it. All right, I say we take a nice, cool car ride up to the next spot. Yeah, let's get up to the top and work our way down. Yeah, let's go. Well, so far so good, I'd say. We're finding a lot of balls. We're moving on to hole three now. This is the big dog leg left where I hit one into the swamp, which is right behind you guys. So hopefully we can pull some out of there. I think we're doing pretty well. If we can keep up this pace, I think we're gonna break your, what was it, $150? 150 bucks. $150 bet, so. We are working for it. I'm putting a lot more effort into this one than I thought I would. <laughs> Digging deep, a lot of mud, a lot of bugs. So it's it's been pretty painful, but I am very pleased with the amount of Pro V1s so far. Yeah, we're very finding pleased. a good amount of balls here. Nice course, nice balls. What do you expect? There you go. Can that run? Can we, can we say that? Yeah. All right, let's find some more balls. Welcome to the Enchanted Forest. You might find balls up in the tree. <laughs> well, it's nice that it's pretty wide open. But the bad news is when it's wide open, then people just walk in and get their ball and they walk out. So you know, we're not that far off the tee. I'll take a little look around here. But I think we'll find more up there where people get longer shots and then they give up on them. I think it's a Pro V, I don't know. It is not, it's a crappy Wilson, but it's got a cool logo. And we always like logos, you never know what you're gonna find. Noodle, been a few noodles out here today. Not a bad ball. If you play noodles, comment below. Uh-oh. Muskrat Lynx is gonna be happy. There it is, the Strixon Divide. Yet another Bridgestone, just like Kyler said. A lot of Bridgestones on this course. It's quite all right. Camp person, striking gold. Max fly, not All right, gold. I like the colors. Colors are good. 
Well, we've overwalked our cart, so we're going to have to find our way out and go back to the cart. I do like the unique. You know the cowboy mm. Parker Ball style. I do like these. They're fun. Titleist, smiley face, Pro V1. It's not a purple smiley face, is it? No, is that a logo? No, that's a clover. Plant life. Red smiley face. She said if it was purple, it was hers. I think so, but I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Pro V1. Nice. Let me crawl out and I will show you. Who's that? <laughs> Baby. Baba Booey. Baba Booey? Pro V1, so that's an imprint. Huh? What do we got? What do we got? It is a Pro V, but it does not have a logo or text. Good value. You guys see this? I see red right there. It's probably leeches. All right, I'm using the butt end of this to dig it out. Ooh, that is vile. <laughs> We've cleaned them. Callaway's super hot. What a spot. I hope you guys are enjoying this video, though. I, like I said before, these are so much fun. I absolutely love doing this. Hopefully, we can find some more cool, rare balls out here today. Really happy with what we found so far. Again, big shout out to the folks over at Newport for letting us out here today. Like I said, hopefully we can help restock their driving range with some of the balls that we find out here today. And yeah, let's see if we can dig up another gem. Very curious to see what that value comes out to at the end. I spent a while researching online over the past couple of days what the price of various used golf balls is going to be. So I've got a pretty strong idea of what we could get for these online if we were selling them. No, not individually, but like by the dozen. You can obviously get more if you sell them individually, but I want to be fair with the prices here and give you guys some realistic goals. A little illegal nitro action. Again, we're trying to be really careful out here today. We do not want to be bending any of these plants or affecting them in any way. So we're being nice and gentle, just cruising through, moving stuff out of the way, sliding it back, finding some fun golf balls here. Well, it's a true feel, not the most fun, but, but hey, I am loving it out here today. Here is my spot in. All right, now we're in beyond the trees. Beyond the bushes. Now we get to look back through. Oh, there's a ball down there. Let's see what we can find. Apparently rule number one is complete and total commitment to poison ivy. Rule number two is if you see it, you have to get it. And it looks like a Pro-V. It is a Pro-V. No logos. Another Bridgestone Tour BRX and a little Max Fly Soft Fly, orange guy. Sweet. Good finds, good finds. Titleist. Pro V1 from 2023 with some text. Happy Dad's Day, Sailing Annabelle, BVI 2023. That's a cool one. That one's got a little bit of a story behind it. I imagine that's a sailboat. And it was from this year, so pretty cool. Let's unload what we have and we'll, go, we'll both go back in there. I have something, I have a couple, I have three you need to see. Whew. Emerging minorly victorious from the woods. This bag is pretty heavy. This does seem like a great hole to pick golf ball back. Oh, the 54. Oh, 54 Pro V1. Oh, that says Baba Booey. Baba Booey. So <laughs> that's, that's a $5. That's five. Here, well, I'll show you mine that will cancel out your text. It is a 2023 Pro V1 that says Happy Dad's Day Sailing Annabelle, BVI 2023. So I'm guessing there's a boat somewhere named Annabelle and someone's initials BVI. No, British Virgin Islands. Crap, you're right. What do you think? Camera for British Virgin Islands. Yeah, yeah. Camera noise. Still a boat named Annabelle, though. Um, I like the soccer balls. I do like a good Always a little ball. bit of fun. Makes make for a nice picture. Yeah. Another nitro courses, everyone. And then we have is this the Tor Ooh. Mizuno ball? Let me see. RB five sixty six V. I don't know if it is or not. I know they've got a Tor ball that's they they rate be. right up there with all the best. Yeah. Cool. That's a great one. Well, I've still got one more. You really need to see. Oh, there it is. It's the Q Star Tour Divide Blue and Yellow variant. That's a cool one and a premium ball to boot. Absolutely. Very cool. Very, very cool. cool. So we got some good color in there. A decent amount of Pro V's, but only one that had the text on it that you guys saw. It was that Annabelle sailing one. So we'll add these to the bag. But we're doing really well so far. I'm happy. 
Yep, so let's, I'll pull the cart further down and we'll just dive back in right where you came out. Perfect. Come on, right there. Oh, hello friend. Hey buddy. Get the more majestic view. Oh, hold well, on, there's a golf ball down here. <laughs> Stinker. Velocity. But that's the most dramatic find you've ever had. I think this is not an actual branded ball. This is like one of the ones they sell at the mini golf stand. Uh, yeah, this is interesting. I understand why it went in the woods. This is a mini golf soccer ball. <laughs> wow. No snakes. All right. Hey, Morgan self storage. Dad found one of these earlier. Mm -hmm. What? You see the stone wall? It's just buried deep in the woods, and you probably wonder how can there be a stone wall buried deep in here? But this stone wall, I can guarantee you, was put in place when this area was settled in the late 1700s. When the first thing the settlers did was clear out the trees and plow the fields to grow crops and all they found was boulders in New England, nothing but boulders. And it's not like farming in Iowa. They take all these boulders and they made stone walls out of them to keep the cattle in. So this was a field, you know, 300 years ago. And settlers were farming here and keeping their cattle here. Now, of course, it's totally overgrown as the world has changed, but these stone walls persist all throughout New England deep in the woods. History lesson over. All right, I'm gonna go and get the cart yep. and, and bring it down into the sh shade down there. All right. And then we'll, we'll see what we got. Sounds good. I got a couple good colors and I found nice. this, which is no logo, which tells me it's a mini golf ball. It's a mini golf it's ball. It's 100% a mini golf soccer ball. So in it goes, and then I found one more Titleist Pro V1X with a logo on That's it. That's a logo. Which I think cuts your lead down to like maybe $5 or something. I think you're yeah. up five, but that's what I got. I got a bunch of color in here. Oh, and I found this, another I Morgan self storage. I found that exact yeah. one earlier. So that's what I was saying. Someone hacked this one into the woods on this hole too. Pretty cool. I like the colors. Oh, nice TP5. Yeah. Clean TP5. It's not the uh, red, white, and blue flag one that I wanted. No, but it's still a good one. Nice I found a T as well. Yeah, why not? You got some good colors that round. I think it's a mud logo. See that? I, see yeah, the I logo? think you should just throw that in. It's it's mud. I think you owe me money for trying to pass that off. All right, let's go find another hole where we can get some value since we're only three holes in so far. We got to go find the honey pots. Yeah, this is the par three coming up here. Yeah, there's not going to be any balls on this. Maybe go back toward the river? Yeah, I think we just start heading back across the road, down past hole four, see what we yeah. can find along the side there. I think okay. walking along that river will be fun. Let's hit it. Yeah. Logo? Logo. The like Mack truck and the Pro V1. Good idea to come in here. <laughs> you know, way down in there. I'm gonna test the limits of this thing. Well, at least it was a Titleist. Logoed, but not a Pro V1. Whoa! Oh, it's super fast. And then. Taylor made rocket balls. Nothing good. 2023 Pro V1 with a logo found at the bell. Dad's gonna be pissed. 10 bucks. I have the same. Oh, I can't, can't stop. I just found this as I was standing here. I, I, pr I probably have close to 30. Yeah, because I got like 20, 25 <laughs> here maybe. Maybe How can cool? you fit 30 in your pocket? Like 15 in each pocket. The heck? I guess so. I don't know, maybe not that many. I can't fit my phone in my pocket. <laughs> I think the most interesting one is this vice tour with a nice. green clover on it. So that's pretty Love neat. that. And then the, it sounds like we have counteracting Pro V logos to keep it at, you're up by five bucks ish. I might have more than one Pro V. I'm gonna oh, double check. I, I guess so. I'm just grabbing and pulling here and so. Moving them in. What with the colors? Yeah, I got some oranges on there. Well, it's starting to get pretty exhausting out here. We're definitely getting beat up. We need some more energy for sure. So I think we'll go check out a couple more spots. We might venture to the back side because we're only like five holes in right now. We've got a ton of golf balls. So we'll venture over to that side, see how many more we can get before we're out of here. <laughs> well, no. we, we tried to drive away, but no. <laughs> we now have a right angle ball retriever. too tired. <laughs> Jaws, oh please. no, the humanity. We can fix them. 
The humanity. Surely we can bend him back. He'll snap. Oh. He might snap if we bend him back, but yeah. well, we'll find a way to repair him. That is so I've got sad. tape in the truck. Bend him up a little bit. No, he's broken, isn't he? We can, uh, we can save him. We can save that. I don't think we should use him anymore. I think he's going to snap off if he's we try to use him. He's going to snap off for sure. He's going back in the bag. Okay. Absolutely, might snap off. Rip Jaws. You Down lived, a bar retriever. You lived a good life, Jaws. We may have to keep $43.99 worth of balls. So <laughs> yeah, got another Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> spotted one. Of course. We got him. Well, I guess I'll be using a four iron from here on out. Oh, here we go. Orange guy. Little velocity for us, nice one. And follow that up with, what is this, I'm just plain NXT. All right, well, that could have been better. There she is, NXT tour again. We're good at finding these ones. A little traveler's umbrella, I think. Okay, so I think we'll check a couple more spots. Maybe we'll head over to one of the par fours that's over here. I think it's whole like 13 or 15, something like that. But if officially, where are we with the uh, Titleist logos? I think you're winning by a fair amount. The people know, I don't know. You're up a fair amount. Next hole. How would you rate this golf ball finding experience today? I think we found more golf balls than I was expecting to find and a much higher quality as well. I think we've had a pretty good amount of Pro V1s today. Not a lot of TP5s and Chrome Softs as some of the other courses we've picked on, but a lot of Pro V1s. So we're really happy with that. That's gonna add some good value to the overall mix. And as I say that, oh, would you look at that? It's a little Pro V1 with a logo. Keep walking through and see if you step <laughs> on one. It's a logo. Oh, it's a Vice logo, it looks like. Eastern Propane. Mm. You need some heating oil. I can't find any Chrome Soft, but I can find plenty of ERC Softs, my goodness. So, I thought if I got across this swampy area, mm -hmm. into dry land, absolute honey hole. Yeah. I don't know how many I have. It's like a lot. Two, 16, 28, 36, 42. <laughs> Send help. Well, thanks for carrying the video, Pops. I found three triple tracks in a row. That guy was really persistent. He just kept hitting them. He just kept hitting them. <laughs> I found one ball of note along with the, the masses. I've got a Pro V1 with the logo. I'm positive I have a Pro V1 with the logo in there. And the logo is the New Hampshire Senior Golfers Association. Nice. So this must be yours. Oh, thanks, son. I must have lost that one. Even though I never played here, but it still must <laughs> be mine. 53, 64, 65. Let me see if I can uh, get to the end of this club. Makes it better. Something will work. Seems good. All right. Let's go. Okay, I think we're just about ready to get out of here. Was it worth it? I hope it was worth it. We'll make a good thumbnail. I think that's gonna be it for the ball retrieval section of this video. I think so. It's time to move on to the cleaning, the data analysis, and see how much money we made. How many did we find at Maplewood? We found 322 at Maplewood. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. I think we might have cleared the $150 too. I hope so, yeah. I think we got Thanks a lot so. of quality golf balls, so I hope we cleared that mark. We'll see. Let's find out. All right, off to the garage. Earlier this week, I released a YouTube short showing how I clean all the balls we find. So make sure you're subscribed and check that one out because we do literally everything YouTube offers. Shorts, quizzes, polls, long form videos, community posts, giveaways, we've got it all. So join the Muskrat Links golf team today. We ended up finding 321 golf balls at Newport, which is crazy considering we found 322 balls at Maplewood. We didn't count them at all when we were out there hunting, so it was amazing to get almost the exact same number. As I slowly cleaned them off, I ended up uncovering an absolute treasure. Here it is. Guys, I'm out here washing the balls and you're not gonna believe what I just found. Out of nowhere, we just found a Pro V1 left dot. I didn't see this when we were out there on the course, but this is super cool. This is a highly valuable ball. We'll go ahead and add that pricing when we get to the end, but thought I would share that with you guys as we were cleaning it. Hey, don't you shut up. Hello, I got my rain coat.
It took about four hours to get every ball cleaned and looking their best. I know I don't have to do it, but I take a lot of pride in these videos and I feel like I have to do my content justice by putting in the highest quality workmanship I can. As usual, it paid off and we were left with 138 good quality balls and 3A premiums. Then we got 75 4A and 5A premium balls, which is amazing. Look at these guys, we got some really cool ones in there as well. Then to finish off, we got 108 low quality or junk balls. After the cleaning, it was time for the big data entry and inventory with Sarah so I could create these awesome charts to share with you guys. This is so exciting because you know I'm a data driven golfer. I take great satisfaction in data analysis, seeing what patterns exist in the real world without the ambiguity or manipulation of a commercial venture. This means it's about time to answer the question we presented in the title of this video. Given a few hours in the afternoon, how much money can we make hunting for golf balls? Here we go guys, this is the data all compiled. You can see we've got our value column here, column number H. Let's scroll down to the bottom and just see what our final total is for what we found at Newport this afternoon. $284.95 worth of golf balls. Now if you ask me, that is a really good total. I was not expecting to find so many high quality golf balls. Those numbers are really good. And we can dive in and take a look at that actually. We can go ahead and see and compare the numbers to what my collection was before and what we found last time when we were up at Maplewood. So let's go over here and look at those totals now. So my collection previously was 800 golf balls. That's what we had from our past ball halls and all the other golfing adventures we've been doing this summer. And we then added added to that 321 golf balls that we found here at Newport. So that was really exciting. That's basically 28% uh, of our collection now is now Newport balls. Though that's not completely accurate because we are bringing back a whole bunch of those balls, 100 or so, back to Newport to help fill up their driving range as a big thank you to them for letting us go out and film the content. So this is, you know, the entire collection of what we found, not exactly what we kept. Because obviously I do giveaways and stuff like that too. So, you know, this isn't every single golf ball I have in my collection, but it is every single golf ball we found this summer. So let's go ahead and hop over to the quality charts here and see how we stack up. Yeah, Newport quality 23.4% on the premium, which is basically bang on what we had in the collection prior. We had 24.3. So we found maybe slightly under the amount of premium balls that we usually find, but essentially bang on. And then as for the good balls, we actually found a lot more good balls at Newport than we did previously in the collection. As you can see, we had 36.8 for good balls in the collection and we found 43% good balls at Newport. So that was really cool to see. And that of course means we found a lot fewer junk balls as well. So we normally we have about 39% junk balls when we go out and do a ball hunt. We only found 33.6% at Newport. So that was really cool. Again, some really high quality golf balls that we found at Newport. Hopping over to the brands now, we've got Maplewood here and then we've got Newport over here on the side. We'll actually cross this over just a little bit to save some space. Uh, Titleist was obviously the most popular brand. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to predict that. Followed closely by Callaway and TaylorMade. That's what we found at Maplewood. And now this time at Newport, Titleist was still the most popular brand, followed by Callaway, and then it was actually Bridgestone that kind of snuck into that number three spot, taking it from TaylorMade. We only found 7.5% TaylorMade golf balls, and then we found so many of those Precept. The Precept laddies were all over the place, so there was a ton of them, and the Bridgestones were extra high as well, so that's kind of an interesting point in the data that we didn't see previously in the collection. Um, and we found a bit fewer of the Titleist and the Callaways overall. We had 28.7% and 16.8% compared to the 32% Titleist and 19.6% Callaway. So it's cool to see how these trends are different in between each courses. So I think that's really cool. I love looking at data in this way just to kind of compare and contrast to see where the patterns are. So let's go into the models a little bit more here. Again, nothing too crazy here. As you could expect, we've got the Pro V1 as the most popular model that we found. And some other high ones were the Super Soft. We found a lot of Callaway Super Softs out there. A lot of those Precept laddies coming out of the woodworks. Pro V1X, of course, Chrome Soft. Also got some Velocities, the True Feels, Distance Plus, E9, TP5s. E6, Noodle, long and soft. Shout out to the Noodle gang, of course. So yeah, that's kind of the, the model data. And then of course, we've got all the, the onesie twosies down here as they continue to file in. But uh, let's go ahead and jump over to the colors and patterns now and see what we got for data there. Again, just comparing to Maplewood, it was very similar. Maplewood had color on, what's that gonna be? 16.5% of their balls. And at Newport, we actually ended up getting 17.8%. So there was a higher 
uh, percentage of colored balls that we found at Newport, which again, I think that's really cool. I think it's better for people to be playing with colored balls or pattern balls. It just makes the game a lot more fun and shows that it doesn't have to be super serious all the time. So again, I'm a fan of increasing this percentage. Hopefully we can get this up to like 20% in the near future. But again, that's pretty cool. We found lots of different ones as well. We've got 2.5% of those balls were patterned. So that's like, actually, did we find any tour responses with the stripe on them? I don't think we did, but we did find a bunch of Chrome Softs with the um, the TP5 Picks pattern as well. So we got the Chrome Soft and the Picks go into that pattern category. Yellow, again, the most popular color, nothing crazy there. We had the divide that was yellow and red. We had the divide that was yellow and blue. We found a couple green balls out there. We found some orange balls, plenty of orange balls. What's this one? Oh, the orange and black nitro went into that category. A pearl, there was kind of a shiny white one in there as well. And then pink. We didn't find any pinks at Maplewood and we found, what is that? Five pinks out there in Newport today. So that was pretty neat. And lastly, I think we'll jump over to the Pro V1 years chart just to see and compare and contrast to what we found previously. So no surprise, 2021 was still the most popular model followed closely by 2023. And then going back through the years, we did find some 2019s, 2017s, 2015s, but then I think we lost it there. No 2013s were found out there on the course. We did find a 2011. Uh, no, oh wait, no, we did have 2013. So we hit 2013, 2011, and 2009 was where we first missed out. So we jumped over 2009, we found some 2007s, jumped over 2005, and did find a couple 2003s there as well. So that is kind of the data for what we had there. Again, very exciting. And now let's just talk about a couple of the premium surprise golf balls and some of my favorite finds out there. So as you guys know, one of my favorite golf balls that we found out there today was that Nitro Eclipse with the orange on one side and the black on the other side. I thought that was really cool. I hadn't seen one of them before. So let's just go ahead and find it here in the chart. Nitro Eclipse. So I ended up getting a value on that of $1.20. It was a little bit more expensive than your normal Nitros because it was kind of a limited release thing. So I was able to find some of them on eBay for about a little over a dollar. So that's what we put in for the value for that. And then we have the two big ones. You guys already saw it. We found a Pro V1 left dot out there today. So let's go ahead and find that guy. Uh, is that the dot on here, is it? Yeah, there it is. We got the Pro V1 left dot in there and that has a value of $19. And I can actually show you guys where I got that number from because I've actually sold some of these golf balls. As you guys know, we did a video a while back showing the differences between the Pro V1 left dot and some of the other Pro V1 models. So I actually had some of these in my collection and then I sold them on after I was done testing them. So we sold them for, let's see, $21 and $5 shipping here. So this one sold for 26 and this one was a little bit more scuffed, a little bit more damage. It sold for 22. So I have actual sales of $26 and $22 of this Pro V1 left dot. So I think it's fair to put the pricing at $19 here for our inclusion in the chart. So that's where we got that from. Again, I never thought I would find one of these out in the course. This is so cool. I'm so happy I found that. This is like a holy grail type find. It's really neat. And then we've got one other really cool ball to find here that really helped increase the value of what we found on the course. And that is of course the New Hampshire soccer ball from the Callaway Chrome Soft Pattern Collection. And I've got that valued at $13 here on the chart. Again, we can jump over to eBay here and see what we got. There's actually a couple different variants on there. There's this one where you just have the kind of shape of New Hampshire that's blue, and those are going for a little bit cheaper. I think this is the more common pattern. And then we have the pattern that we found here. We've got this one going up at $15 and this one going up at $15.65. So those are the only two that are actually on eBay right now. So I'm not planning on selling mine though. You guys know I don't really sell golf balls at this point. This is a really cool one to have in the collection to represent that New Hampshire golf that we got going out here. So this was a really neat one to find. So you can see about $15 on eBay. I put it into the chart at $13. Again, just to be fair to everybody to give you guys some realistic prices. I think that is going to be it for me, guys. Make sure you are subscribed because we've got tons of cool content coming out here on Muskrat Links. I've got some really cool stuff on the schedule coming up in the next few weeks. So tap that subscribe button. Join in the Muskrat Links golf team. We've got tons of cool videos. We've got tons of shorts, surveys, quizzes, giveaways, you name it. We've got everything here. So become part of the Muskrat Lynx golf community and join in before we hit that 5k. But I think that is going to be it for me. Have fun out there, everyone.